Quiz, periodic functions, question 1. Consider the function f of x equals to 25 sine of pi over 50 times x plus 20 minus 55. Now, this is the solution to your problem. In the last video, we had given you this question for the quiz, which had two parts, right? So, in this video, I am trying to give you the answer for the first part. And in the next video, we will do part B of the same question. Sorry. Now, here, consider the function f of x is a sine function with amplitude of 25, and this is a k factor pi by 50, phase shift of 20 units to the left, and 55 units down. Determine the coordinates of maximum and minimum for the given function. I'll give you a solution of this problem uh, in one way, and... Uh, I'd like you to attempt and get the solution alternately also. Okay, So that will give you a very sound base on understanding periodic functions. Now consider a sine wave. As the equation is a sine function, let's consider the basic sine wave. right? So I'm just drawing a sine wave here and uh, this is your axis of symmetry and that's your sine wave. So when an equation is given like this, we can always say that minus 55 is this symmetry, right? So this is at minus 55, correct? And maximum occurs at maximum value is 25 plus this. So we'll add 25 and get this value. This is 25 up. And then minimum is 25 below minus 55, correct? So I can always write this as minus 55 minus 25, right? and the maximum at minus 55 plus 25, correct? So that actually gives us maximum minimum value. The second part of the question is when does the maximum occurs and when does the minimum occurs? So if you see a sine wave and let us say the time period is t, right? So let us say that the time period of this from here to here is t, right? then you will observe always that maximum occurs at t over 4, correct? First quarter, do you understand? Second quarter, it is 0. Third quarter, it is minimum, right? So 3t over 4 gives you the minimum, correct? So in general, in general, that is your solution. t over 4 gives you the maximum, 3t over 5 gives you the minimum, right? So I'm giving you such beautiful solutions here so that you can solve any question on periodic functions, correct? And maximum value, we calculate it with the help of shift vertical up and down, right? Now, the question remains how to find this time period t. Now, time period can be found from this horizontal compression or stretch factor. So time period t is actually equals to 2 pi by k, correct? And k is pi over 50. Therefore, time period is 2 pi divided by pi over 50, correct? Which can be written as 2 pi over pi times 50, correct? Now, pi and pi cancels out and we get time period of 100. Do you see that? So time period is actually 100. Now in normal condition, if this is 100, then T4 will be fourth part. I should say T over 4 will be at 25, correct? This is at 25, correct? So that is without this translation, correct? Since the wave has moved 20 units left, correct? 20 units left. This position moves 20 units left. So, so the maximum occurs at, maximum will occur at 25 minus 20. Do you agree with me? So, the maximum occurs at, so maximum is at x equals to 25 minus 20, which is at 5. And the minimum will occur 
that also shifts by 20 units to the left right so 3t by 4 is actually 75 right this is 75 in normal case this is 25 now both move 20 units to the left so minimum will occur at 75 minus 20 which will give us x equals to let me write 75 minus 20 which is at 55 you could also get it by adding half the time period time period is 100 half the time period is 50 50 plus 5 is 55 so that also gives us the location of maximum minimum right so so maximum is at 5 and the value of maximum is how much minus 55 plus 25 do you see that that is the value of maximum and the value is minus 55 plus 25 so when you take away from 55 25 in this case you get a minus sign minus number is bigger right and 30 and how about minimum the value at minimum is how much minus 55 minus 25 so 5 and 5 10 2 5 7 and 1 8 80 okay so that is our answer when say determine the coordinates of maximum and minimum for the given function so our coordinates for maximum and minimum are for maximum the coordinates are the x value is 5 and the y value is minus 30 and for minimum they are x value 55 and minimum value of minus 80 so that is the solution of part a in the next video we will solve part b and the question if you remember was explain why the value of function is same at x equals to 3 and x equals to 7 do you understand so that is a hint right okay thank you i hope you enjoy this part and you appreciate it thank you